Good day, and welcome to Mike's Diabetes World. I thought today I'd just do a quick video. I don't know, maybe it'll be the same length. Lately, I've been waking up with high blood sugars, and I really don't feel well some days, and today is one of them. I've taken extra insulin. I brought my blood sugar down. But it's just like you keep dragging. Now, does as I said yesterday, does that mean, oh, well, I give up? No, I get up and tomorrow we'll start and we'll start better. But I am definitely going to bring it up with my diabetic nurse. And we have phone calls about every two weeks or so. You really should include a support team, being your doctor, your endocrinologist, and that is pretty much a doctor that follows diabetics. Then you need to have a dietitian or someone you can talk to about weight control or getting enough calories to make sure that you could go through the night sleeping. I haven't got sick. And I remember uh, my diabetic nurse used to say, I'm sure she still says it, but that if you start to vomit then you need to go to the hospital. And what was it, 2014? I got the flu. And for a while before that, I was put on new insulin. And the insulin just didn't work. Or it didn't seem to be working the way it should be. And it probably was more the flu. But I got told to go to the hospital and went to the hospital and they couldn't control me. The joys of being a brittle diabetic. So they brought me back to where I wasn't getting sick all the time, but I would still have lows. They gave me passes that I could go like one block each way of Royal Columbian and another um, patient and myself were getting hungry. So I went out to get a subway. Subway is quite close. And I came back I don't think, in my mind, I remember sort of trying to cross the street and somebody was kind of directing me. I, I think they were probably from the restaurant because they could tell that, you know, I was doing the whole sweating thing. And anyway, I ended up in a... a the emergency entrance. My ward was actually just down the hall from this, but I ended up in emergency entrance and I was in, I was this close to passing out and I kept crashing into the emergency desk and the nurse came out and did a blood trigger and they started calling all the wards to find out who was missing a patient. And they finally got the information and I ended up getting glu glucose. You know, a lot of people seem to forget that people who are diabetics can sometimes have severe lows. Oh no. And when they do, 
they, it can be very scary. And I think that day, hmm, I think I was more like a drunk, to be perfectly honest. Now, I'm usually one who doesn't really uh, show my lows. Like, you can't say, oh, Mike, you're sweating. Oh, you need, are you low? I don't know when I go low. It's called diabetic, or hypo, sorry, hypoglycemia unaware. And it's a serious condition. I have this little device to press it if I have an emergency. But when you have one of these situations, whether it being super high in the morning or throughout the day, and you really start feeling like you have the flu and you're dragging. Sorry, I was in the hospital with this. I'll just finish this thought and get back to the story. You feel, you know, it, like the flu, you have no energy, blah, blah, blah. And best way is to check your blood sugar. Because chances are you will have a high blood sugar and need to correct it. And the best way to do that is to go by your doctor's and your plan. I did that today. The one day I did a dipstick for um, ketones and my blood sugar had shot up quite quickly. So I didn't have a need for extra ins insulin to combat that. But I took a dose a correction on my pump, and I took 10 extra units. But that brought me down to where I'm now, I feel a lot better than I did, but I'm still very tired. So, sometimes you have to admit, to get back to the story, that you need to go into the hospital. And if you do, do it. Don't keep talking yourself through it. If you don't want to go, you're unsure if you need to go, call an ambulance. If you're still unsure you need to go, go to your doctor. Make a doctor's appointment. Speak to the doctor over the phone. You need to ensure that you were taken care of. We talked a bit already this week about, you know, tight control is the best thing. But accidents do come and it'll happen to everyone. You need to be aware of what things can happen to you and the signs. You know, if I get a blood sugar of over 14 for two, two times, I change my sight. But I'm being proactive instead of reactive. Reactive is always just going, oh, well, oh, I'm so sick. Well, within your plan, do all you can before heading to the hospital. My time in the hospital more or less have to do with low blood sugars and not high. Granted, I still have had high times in the hospital. I'm talking high blood sugar. But, you know what? Sorry, just changing the head. My head's getting a little tired holding the pole. I did my best. And it all came out. Now, I think most doctors understand a lot more about diabetes than they used to. 
I can remember a story when I was diagnosed and I had a very old doctor and this doctor um, was could tried to control me, you know, a brand new diabetic and you're growing spurts and anyway. But I had said the guy in the room with me was his um a cancer victim or person with cancer. And he went through hell when he was in the hospital, but when he was at home and doing stuff, he would just have to take pills. Like, you wouldn't have to do much to uh, take care of it every day. You didn't have to take shots. <clears throat> and I can remember saying something, oh, I wish diabetes was like this where I could just take pills. And through the grapevine, it got back to my endocrinologist, who kind of just blew up at me. How dare you say you want to have cancer? And I just didn't really care what he said. At that this point, I was unable to give myself a shot. And I think I would have been out of the hospital sooner if I would just be able to give a shot. I couldn't break through the skin. Once I broke through the skin, hell, it was easy. But I couldn't do it. And that probably kept me in longer. Now, in adult times in the hospital... Yes, I'm probably in there longer than, excuse the H here, longer than most people because they, my body reacts differently every day to this disease. And today is one of those days where I really felt ill in the morning. And who knows, tomorrow in the morning, I might be totally fine, but we need to all be aware of what happens to our bodies when, I, when we go high. Try to control it. Things like, if you feel low, do a blood sugar. If you feel high, do a blood sugar. And react. And if you don't know what to do, call your doctor, call your endocrinologist. There's diabetic nurses. I would suggest that you get into a diabetes uh, education center. I think I remember them as diabetic daycares, and I still call them diabetic daycares. But you want to do that. And for example, tomorrow, I've got an appointment on the phone with my diabetic nurse. And she changes things. Now, a lot of diabetics get upset and say, well, I just feel like a test tube or something. Because they never, they try one thing and then they try another. Well, they've got to see how your body reacts. And that's because things are different from everyone. And you need to be sure that you understand what your nurse or your doctor says. I know my, my endocrinologist writes things down and gives it to me. It's just like a little prescription pad, but gives me the information in order to go get it done. So, I take control of the situation today. I'm feeling better. I'm still feeling very tired. 
but my blood sugars are back down to a normal range. Yay. So I think I'll call it a day here. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow, I guess. Have a good day. Bye now.